A newlywed couple in Franklin say their 10 week old puppy died in their arms. They blame it on their breeder for not disclosing that Siberian Husky had hookworm. Julia Fellow spoke to the breeder and the owners of the dog named Dexter. At least the owners of this puppy said that they thought they did everything right when they bought the dog, including asking for the breeder for copies of all the vet records and vaccinations. The breeder calls this, what happened next, a terrible misunderstanding. This is video Tiffany and Antonio Bertoni took last month of their husky puppy, Dexter. What was wrong with the dog? Well, I mean, he was very lethargic. We asked her and we were like, why is he like this? And she was like, oh, he's the runt. He's just, he's just a little tiny. He didn't get as much milk. The Bertonis say Dexter's weight dropped from eight to four and a half pounds. That's when they confronted the breeder again. And she said at that point, she was like, well, he did have hookworms and we were treating it. I called the breeder, Haley Knighton in Oklahoma, to get answers. She called me back and agreed to talk to me on a recorded line. That's normal for puppies to have. They come back like that with the, their parents. Your puppies they, always have worms? It's normal for puppies to have worms. That's why you worm them every either once a week or two times a, you know, every two weeks. The couple tell me they were left with two choices last week by the vet. Either put Dexter down or pay $2,700 for a blood transfusion in the hopes it could save his life. Dexter told us he wanted to keep fighting. He would, uh, he kept like trying to stand up and go with us. Dexter survived the blood transfusion and seemed to be getting better, but doctors realized he had another parasite called coccidia. He died in their arms yesterday morning on the way to the vet. We just wish that our breeder was honest with us because we waited two days to figure anything out. She says that you denied at first the dog had worms. No, I didn't deny. This misunderstanding cost the dog his life. Yes, I know, and I'm very sorry for that, and I told her that, and I have been really upset about it. <sighs> So I spoke to a veterinarian at Maddox that is not connected to this case, but she tells me that reputable breeders always have a protocol for deworming and tell the future buyer and also set up all the vaccines. And then it's up to the buyer to make sure that they keep up with all of those booster vaccines. I also spoke to the breeder. She tells me that she was going to refund this family through PayPal on Facebook, $600 the cost of this puppy last night. As of 9 p.m. last Last night, the family tells me they still have not received that refund. Reporting live, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.